when it comes to eastern bodybuilders, the cold weather of winter signals it's time to beef up, get into heavy power training, and prepare for the next contest season. And of course, we're talking about those heavyweight men, right? Wrong. Each year, local New Jersey promoters, Kenny Castle and Bob Bonham, challenge the women of iron with an event that's one of a kind. The Women's Strength Extravaganza brings the strongest ladies in the sport together to demonstrate their power in a variety of strength movements. In the first event, these wonder women perform as many body weight chins as possible, and the winner was Hungarian-born Julia Kover, who grunted out an amazing 34 reps. Then they moved into body weight dips, a notoriously taxing event, with every woman putting out serious effort, both for individual achievement and group camaraderie. Everyone has a chance to kind of work together and support each other and, you know, not under the stress of competition and dieting and everything. It's a lot more fun because you're more like training partners. And we want to see how far we can push ourselves in front of people. So you get a high because you're on stage, and you also get the endurance and the strength, and, and it's more powerful. So it's a different type of feeling. Each woman then maxed out with arm curls, matching half her own body weight for as many grueling reps as possible. By this point, their upper bodies were nearly wasted. So MC and trainer of champions John Perillo decided to offer some mercy and switch to legs. Gee, ladies, how about some squats? And when it comes to quads, don't try to intimidate junior USA champion Christina Petrarca. Trainer Bill Molini has done his homework with her at Paul Wilson's Powerhouse Gym in Rhode Island. It paid off with Christina blasting 240 pounds an unbelievable 33 times. And as if that wasn't enough, we think Bill pulled out his cattle prod and jolted Christina into winning the bench press, too. She maxed out with 160 pounds on the bar, pumping it out for 26 reps. But even with all the hoopla, isn't this a bit overboard? You know, off-season muscle women pushing it to the limit? I think it's fun. It's another diversion. Um, women can do power also. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's fun to see. Um, they're not doing full reps, but that's part of the hype to see how many they can do. Uh, and besides, you still have to be a good athlete to do it. Well, we can't argue with that. But we still hope to be able to show you what these women of iron look like when the contest season gets into high gear. For American Muscle, I'm John Kovic.